Would you like to try making your own knight on horseback? Here's how you can do it. I'm going to use proper clay, pottery clay, but you can use play-doh, plasticine, anything that you can mould. You could even use dough that you make at home, what they call salt dough. If you look it up, you'll find recipes for making salt dough. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a flat piece of clay to work on, what I call a slab of clay, a flat slab of clay to work on. So that's my working surface. Now, you know that I said when we put the pot together, we used to use lots of water to stick it together. Well, I'm still using proper clay, but I'm going to pretend I'm using plasticine or something because I'm not going to use all that water. If you are using proper clay, do do the same as I was doing there. Make it nice and sticky, stick the bits on. But with this, we're just going to pretend that we're doing it with plasticine. So I'm going to take a piece of clay and I'm going to start off just like I did here by making the horse. And I'm just making a sort of sausage of clay that's fat at one end and thinner at the other. And that way I can put that where I want the body of the horse to be, probably right in the middle. And I can start to press that into place. And that's going to be the neck of the horse. And this is going to be the head of the horse. There we go. So I can press that into place like that. And I can smooth it out with my finger. And another piece of clay for one of the legs. Let's roll it into a ball. I always find rolling things into a ball first to start off with helps a little bit. And then you can sort of roll out a sausage from that. You can do it between your hands or you can do it on something can roll it out like this on something and that helps you to get in place and we'll put the front leg in place first take off the end and because horses have hooves I'm going to press that end in a bit like that any of you who've got horses at home and ride horses are probably looking at this and thinking it doesn't look much like a horse it looks as much like a horse as most of the medieval ones looked like a horse so there we go looks more like a pantomime horse maybe <laughs> So the back leg is going to go here, there we go again, press that onto there, hoof at the bottom, another ball of clay, I'll roll it out to a sort of longish sausage of clay, knight's going to go up the top here, it could be Sir Lancelot or it could be Joan of Arc, it could be anybody that wore armour and rode on a horse. So we're going to put a leg onto there and a bend at the knee and make the leg come down here and that foot again. And we're going to have the knight's head. This time I'll make quite a round helmet to go on the top and that I can just make a round hat, round head. I can press it out like that. Now we can make it a bit more fancy than the last one maybe. Do you think we can manage to make a visor? You see I'm using tools to press into it. If I maybe do that, I can make it look like it's got a visor. And visors often have little slits in them, don't they? So should we put a few little slits in there? There we go. And maybe we'll have a plume onto there. And maybe make that look a bit feathery. We're going to do the same with the horse's tail. Give it the tail, swishing its tail around, shall we? There we go. Horse is swishing its tail up in the air. 
Now we need the other is arm. Arm coming out on this side to hold the shield. So, and then other arm on the other side coming out from behind there. I have it going straight out there, so as I leave a bit of space at the top for this knight to be holding a sword. So, put a hand there and the sword. Oh, my sword's going to stick off the top of the of the tile. Never mind. That's all right, isn't it? There we are. A little cross piece on that sword, maybe. Make it clear what it is. And that shield on the front. Flat it out a little bit. Do you see what I do? I put it on as a big thick piece, and then to make it spread out, I press it into place. Uh, so you can put patterns on there with anything you like. Oh, so I've got some stamps here that I quite like to use, but if you can find things that have patterns on them that can be pressed in, maybe bottle lids, that sort of thing. Um, there we go, we'll have a cross in the middle of it, perhaps. There we go. Knight on horseback. Now, how about you see what you can do? I bet you can make a better knight than I did. Give it a go. Thank you.